So one day I was having this conversation with my friend and we were talking about how much we miss school and you know with everything going on when we'd even return and she was telling me about her history class which was one of her favorite classes and she was talking about before they left they had brought up capital punishment and they were talking about whether they found it humane or not and she was telling me all of these rules about it and I was like you know I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I don't know what capital punishment means. She was like, what? It's part of the curriculum. Like, we learned it, like, the second month of school. I was like, oh, oh, you see, uh, my teacher ran away the second month of school, so never got to learn it. She was like, what? I was like, yeah. You know, no, I don't mean she quit. I don't mean she had the change of heart and put in her resignation letter then left. I mean, in the middle of class one day, she stood up, bolted, and was never seen again. Picture this. We have humanities, which is English and history, put together, and today was supposed to be an English day. So we were sitting in class reading an article on Greta Thunberg. It was the second month of school, and while we should have been learning about the crucible, we were learning about climate change. Which is fine, I guess, but we had been doing that every single day. This was our fifth Greta Thunberg article this week. I can name everything about that girl now. I know her birthday, I know how old she is, I know when she was born, I know where she was born. Why do I know so much about Greta Thunberg? Well, you can blame my teacher. Who needs to pass the regents when you can just know every little fact about Greta Thunberg? So as we sat there reading our second Greta article of the day, our teacher was sitting at her desk reading <laughs> upside down. Not only could she not teach us English, apparently she couldn't read. So she was just sitting there reading her book upside down, taking her time, turning the pages as if she could understand what they were saying. She slams her book down and stands up. There's a moment and everyone knows something's not right. And then she bolts. She gets up and runs out of the room. Top speed! We're thinking, is there a fire? Is she gonna throw up? Is something wrong? So we're all just sitting there like, what's going on? At least we don't have to finish reading this Greta article. A few more teachers come in and they're like, where's your teacher? And we're like, we don't know. The office is notified, the principal's notified, and they start looking for her. And they can't find her. This teacher is gone. They just let her walk out the door and she never came back in. Not only couldn't they find us a teacher, they couldn't find us a sub. For the rest of the day, the librarian just watched over her class and we didn't do anything. And you would think, oh, well, you can't find a sub in day's notice. They couldn't find a sub for three more months. We had old teachers, we had librarians, we had office ladies, and none of them knew how to teach. We didn't learn a single thing in those three months that elapsed. The only thing we learned was how to secretly go on our phones when the substitute wasn't looking, but we pretty much already knew that. At this point, I was starting to miss learning about Greta. I wonder how the world was doing without us reading so many climate change articles. Finally, we got word. She said she was coming back next week. So we were excited. She had taken a break and she was probably ready. But the next week came and she wasn't there. One more week, she said. Okay, we'll wait another week. Next week, she's not there. One more week, she promised. Okay, next week, she wasn't there. She said she needed two weeks this time. That's fine. I'm sure she'll be back. Two weeks? Guess who was there? Not her. It's getting a little tiring now. But she said she'd be back after Christmas break. At this point, half the year had gone by, but honestly, it didn't even matter that much. We just wanted our teacher back. With the week after Christmas break, we came in and there she was. We started reading The Crucible. We got through about two chapters in a week, and then on Friday, our principal came in to deliver some somber news. She had quit. After coming back for one week, she decided that she did not want to be a teacher anymore and quit. Fast forward to two months later and we finally have a new teacher. Now it's June and we're learning about the usefulness of railroads in the Civil War when we should be learning about Ronald Reagan, but that's okay. To circle back to the topic in the beginning, my friend tried her best to explain to me what capital punishment meant, but I still didn't understand. So she was like, well, what do you think another form of capital punishment should be? And I was like, we should just make everyone listen to Ed Sheeran music, because no one likes Ed Sheeran. <coughs>